What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna check out my Hellcat Pro and how I have it set up for everyday carry. So let's jump into it. Before I picked up this Hellcat Pro, I was occasionally carrying my regular Hellcat, which is awesome. I love this gun also. But when the Hellcat Pro came out, I just had to pick one up, that longer grip, longer barrel. It just felt better in my hand. So I picked one of those up, and as I do with all my everyday carry guns or any gun that I'm gonna carry, I kind of outfit them similarly. So first off, I picked up a light for it. I chose the TLR7 Sub for the Hellcat. These are one of my favorite lights. They put out like 500 lumens. They're easy to control. It's easy to turn on. That, those buttons I feel are right in the perfect spot. And you have the option to change the buttons if you want. If you'd like a lower button or a higher button, you can buy the different back panels for these and change the buttons. It's got the Picatinny attachment specifically for the Hellcat. The next thing I did for this was the red dot. I bought this EPS Carry from CNH Precision. I got it and the plate from them and got that installed. If you haven't seen the other video I did on trying to install that thing, I'll link it below. I had a few problems getting that thing on there and I was lucky enough to pick one of these up when they were in stock because they've been MIA for the past four or five months. Another thing I typically do is put a set of night sights on my carry gun. You don't know when bad stuff's gonna happen, which is the reason I like to be prepared and have a light and night sights on them. But this gun came from the factory with night sights and you can co-witness through the dot. I'll show you this thing is empty, but if my camera will pick it up, you can co-witness through that red dot, it sits low enough, and that red dot has a little notch in the back to where you can co-witness through there. So I don't think I'll be changing those, I'll just keep those. And those factory sights sit low enough in that window to where it doesn't obstruct your sight picture. I've been carrying this gun in a Four Brothers holster that I picked up. I ordered this after I decided which light I wanted. This is custom made for that light. It's an inside the waistband appendix carry holster. Uh, I chose this camo tiger stripe pattern. I'm really liking these metal clips compared to the plastic ones that come on a lot of holsters. They grab my belt a lot easier and it seems to stay put a little easier also. This one does come with the concealment claw and it came with a couple different thicknesses of the claw so you can change that out if it's pushing it too far into your body or something like that. Retention is all adjustable and everything just like most other holsters um, but this has been very comfortable and it fits perfectly with that red dot and if you had taller sights, it would also accommodate those. Now this gun, along with probably 90% of the other guns I carry, I put an Apex trigger in it. If you guys haven't checked out triggers for your carry gun, Apex is the one that I like the best. It's not a competition trigger. It doesn't modify any of the safety features of the gun. It changes the trigger shoe, the striker spring, and the sear spring, which reduces the weight of the trigger about a half a pound to a pound is what they claim and it changes out that trigger shoe, so it's a nice flat face trigger shoe, which reduces pre-travel, over-travel, and reset distance. These Apex triggers, I put them in any gun that I'm gonna carry for the most part. I have them in my Glock 43X, my wife's Glock 43X. I have it in my other Hellcat, uh, my Smith & Wesson Shield. I've got them in a bunch of different guns, and I've never had a problem with them. So I did a whole video installing this trigger to show you guys kind of a tutorial um, for educational purposes, obviously, on how to put that in, but YouTube took it down and gave me a channel strike, so that's no longer up. But if you guys need help installing one of those, you can go over to Apex's channel. They've got step-by-step -step instructions on how to install those. I do want to do a trigger pull test before and after. I'm going to get some of the footage that I shot before over on the bench doing a trigger pull test, and then I'll do another trigger pull test and show you what it's pulling at now compared to the factory. We'll do another trigger pull test. This is after the trigger install.
So as you can see, we dropped about a pound of weight, just changing out that trigger, and it totally changed the dynamic of the trigger. You can see this take up is nice and smooth, gets rid of any grittiness there was. That brake is crisp and hard, and the reset is also very crisp, tactile. You can hear it, you can feel it in your finger. And that brake is just perfect. It doesn't lighten that trigger up too much to where you're scared to carry it. And that's one thing I like about this trigger kit is that it doesn't change any of the safety features of the gun, but it smooths it out, makes it crisper, and it's still predictable. I'll have a link in the description that'll take you over to our website, and I'll have links for all the stuff that I've used on this gun, if I can find them. I don't know if I'll be able to find that EPS carry because they've kind of been MIA for the past four months. So go check those out. I'll also link to our Instagram and the other videos that I've done on this Hellcat. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll check you guys on the next one.